The Rockworks Borehole Manager is a collection of tools used for the creation of diagrams based on data stored in the Borehole Manager database. The Borehole Manager database is an access or SQL Server-based database designed to store subsurface information such as lithology, stratigraphy, borehole geophysics, and analytical information. This video will give you some tips on navigating the Borehole Manager and will demonstrate some of the more popular tools included in the program. The Borehole Manager is composed of a borehole pane on the left side of the window that includes a list of boreholes within the current project. The buttons to the right of the borehole pane refer to various data tables in the Borehole Manager database. Select a borehole and a table to view data for the selected borehole. The Project Manager can easily be expanded and collapsed on the left side of the window and includes lists of tables that are embedded in the database, as well as lists of grids, models, and graphics that are created from the data and stored in the project folder, which is displayed here. The output dimensions are listed at the bottom of the screen and govern the size and spacing for models created in the project. To create a borehole location map, go to Map, Borehole Locations. In the resulting window, you'll see a list of menu items to the left, and instructions to the right of that. Click on the borehole symbol and label options button to determine what labels will be plotted on the map. Click on the process button and a new tab will be added to the window displaying a map in the Rockplot 2D program. To change something about the map, make adjustments in the menu and then click on the Process button to update the map. Next, we'll move on to a cross-section. Click on the red X in the upper right corner of the Map menu to close this window. To create a simple hole-to-hole -hole cross-section, go to Strip Logs, Two-Dimensional, Section. In the resulting window, you'll see the standard menu tree on the left side of the screen, along with the typical help messages. You'll see a tab that contains the 2D strip log designer, and another tab for the section selection map. Use your mouse to draw a cross-section line, and then click on the process button. A two-dimensional cross-section will be created and displayed in a new tab. To change something about the diagram, for example, to add a curve showing geophysical information to the strip logs, simply make the change in the appropriate menu and click on the Process button again. If you wish to view this cross-section later, simply save the image through the File menu. It can then be reopened through the Project Manager. Finally, I'll demonstrate the creation of a 3D block model through the iData menu. When creating a block model, you'll need to specify the type of data to use and the name of the model being created. I'll use the default modeling and display options and will click on the process button to proceed. The resulting plume model will initially display as a pink block in the Rockplot 3D viewer. To better view the model, I'll right click on the model in the Rockplot 3D data window and choose options. Here I can experiment with various ISO levels and visualization schemes. To add 3D strip logs to the view, I'll check on the Plot Logs option in the data tree. I'll adjust the 3D strip log settings in the strip log designer, and I'll click on the Process button again. This 3D view can be saved as well and reopened later through the Project Manager. 
Thanks for watching. For more information, see the Getting Started checklist in the Rockworks help files. You can find movies on strip logs, cross sections, and more in the How To section on the Rockware YouTube channel.